a sneaking unexpected day in the house, as you would expect, in the house, with tiny core. As you can see, I've done a bit of a frugal install, I've been having a bit of a play, and I've got some stuff going on down over here. There's a couple of new features I want to tell you about, because this is tiny core 3.6, obviously and needy. So anyway, in my little eye bar that I've got on the right-hand side, I've got Xvid Cap, I've got VLC, I've got TrueCrypt. I've got Pigeon with all the Skype extras and the Facebook extras, even though I don't do Facebook at all. I've got Inkscape Lite, I've put in G Numeric, Dropbox of course, I'm putting in Dead Beef as my music player, as you would. There's some others there as well, but I, that's one we'll do for the time being. Asunder for ripping, <clears throat> I've got Aurora for my web browser, and Abbey Word for my other stuff, as you will know. And the basic icons we have here are the mount icon, and the apps, how to get your apps of course. The panel for doing your panel stuff, file manager, your apps audit, which I'll show you a bit later, your terminal, and your exit. So if I click on exit, you'll see what I mean. So there we go. If I go to shutdown or reboot or exit to prompt, it backs up all my stuff to my little file on HDA1 TCE, which is very nice indeed for me. Now, what are the new features you want to know about? What like the main ones you want to know about? Do you remember when I done the last one on TinyCon? I said if only I had a, a GUI installer. Well. Obviously, somebody was listening to me, and I'm going to give you a quick look. Now, on top of doing the one we normally do, which is that little <clears throat> little frugal install, you can now do a hard disk USB install. Now, you do need to download some extra apps to do this, but as they're all from the Tiny Core app section anyway, I wouldn't really worry about it. So if we click here, HD USB install, we now get a GUI installer. Oh my god, in Himmel. There we go. So if I go hold disk and USB disk, Basically, you won't see nothing there for the time being because I'm using I'm using the whole file basically for my frugal. But what you do, you would normally use Gparted, partition the disk, choose it, and it'll install it for you, GUI style. No more typing. Do you remember I done that one? It took bloody ages, and it's all command line. Well, now it does it all for you. Oh, whoopsie doo da, lovely jubbly. That's the main main thing that I've done differently here. Also, there's some more squash modules there as well as some patches in both 32 and 64. They've updated the app's audit, they've updated the app browser, they've updated the tiny core load to, to support better download errors and stuff like that so it don't go bang on you, and lots and lots of other little bits and bobs that you would like to know about. But how does it work in the field? Well, of course it works superbly. It's tiny core. So I'm going to go down to Aurora, so we'll click on our web browser and see what happens down the doodly. 54321. Now I've made this full screen because it's just for me, basically, okay? For me, so I'm gonna type in tiny core, and it should have come up there, but it didn't. Never mind. So I'll type in tiny core, and we'll go and see what's going down at a tiny core. So here we go. Go over to the web page, and as you can see, this is the version we're using, which is 3.6. Yes, version 3.6. We're going back, baby. Back, 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 back. Lovely, lovely. I love it. It's still only 10 megabyte. Remember. It boots up in a couple of seconds and shuts down in a couple of seconds. Now, if you want to give Tiny Core a try, use it in VirtualBox first. For the time, for the reason being, sometimes it takes a little while for you to get used to it. But once you know where you're going from, give it a go. It's lovely. So anyway, Tiny Core 3.6, I really like. Now, I really want you to try this. Now, for a 10 megabyte download, you can't really say no, can you? Well, you could do, but that would be being lazy. There you go, I'm opening the apps up while I'm doing everything. No bleeding problems. It all works. Hunky dory. I will show you the app browser anyway. <clears throat> if we go over there and I go to connect, there we go. As you can see, I've got Abbey World already in there and I've put all the plugins in. Now, if you did want anything here, all you do basically, I mean, there's also OSS I've already got in there. There's AMSN. Then my kids use AMSN. So, what I'm going to do, I click there, it tells you all about it. Click on go, it will download and it will come up in your little bar over here. Super bleedy doobly. So anyway, what do I think of Tiny Core? That's been updated, even better than it was last time. Still number one, still until the next time. You've only got a month until the next top ten, so we'll see from there. Sneaky Linux, going out. I'll see you later.